Good afternoon, everyone. I am Professor Adelaida Filosero, Chapter President of the University of the Philippines Chapter of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Beloved President of the University, Attorney Concepcion, Beloved Chancellor, Dr. Fidel Nemanzo, the different officers of the university, the faculty, parents, the scholars of the university, and our inductees. A great and cherishable afternoon to all. Today, we celebrate excellence. We gather to induct worthy individuals into the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. These persons have chosen and the, were chosen on the basis of superior scholarship and sound character. We are pleased and proud that each has chosen to become part of the century-old community of scholars and professionals that includes individuals who have distinguished themselves in positions of leadership and whose careers have been characterized by achievement. Our members have served in the USA White House, Senate, Congress, Supreme Court, and our very own government offices. They have won Nobel Prizes, Pulitzer Prizes, and they have been recognized as national artists and national scientists. Also, they have won numerous national and international awards for service and achievement in their chosen fields. Phi Kappa Phi is proud to include among its membership thousands of men and women who for more than a century have sought to make a difference in the communities where they live and work. The society's values are conveyed in its motto, let the love of learning rule humanity. This is our motto, but our mission is also explanatory of who we are, to recognize and promote academic excellence in all fields of higher education and to engage the community of scholars in service to others. Phi Kappa Phi standards are unsurpassed and second to none. We seek to reward excellence wherever it can be identified in any institution that has a chapter of the society. Moreover, Phi Kappa Phi, being interdisciplinary, elects to membership from all academic branches of the university. May we ask Dr. Maria Milagos Sorrell, the chapter secretary, to tell us more about the Honor Society. The bylaws of the University of the Philippines, Chapter 045 of the Phi Kappa Phi, operating within the framework of the society's bylaws, specify certain conditions to be observed in electing persons to membership. These conditions are summarized as follows. Each student candidate shall be of sound character. Senior undergraduates shall be in the upper 10% of their class in each college or division. Juniors are drawn from the upper 7 and 1 half percent of their class. Graduate and professional students in the upper 10% of all candidates for graduate or professional degrees may also be candidates for membership. Also eligible are faculty, administrators, professional staff, and alumni who have achieved scholarly distinction. Not more than five members of the faculty, administration, and professional staff, and not more than five outstanding alumni may be invited into membership each year. One distinguished member and one honorary member per year may be inducted by a chapter, a distinction that requires prior approval by the society's governing board. It is fitting that candidates about to be inducted into Phi Kappa Phi know certain facts about the society. In 1897, Marcus L. Uran, a student at Maine State College, now the University of Maine, proposed to his professors 
an honor, an honor society built upon a broader base and with wider purpose than any in existence at that time. At the request of college president Abram Harris, Uran drafted a constitution and set of bylaws for such an organization. Uran and Harris, assisted by interested professors, succeeded in organizing the Lambda Sigma Eta Society, an academic honor society open to superior students regardless of academic discipline. Ten students were elected to membership that first year. After Uran's graduation, President Harris assumed the responsibility for promoting the society. In 1900, with strong support from the presidents of the University of Maine, Pennsylvania State College, now the Pennsylvania State University, and the University of Tennessee, this, the society became a national organization. In the same year, the society was renamed Phi Kappa Phi from the initials of three Greek words of its adopted motto. Today, there are over 300 chapters of Phi Kappa Phi ranging from Maine to the Philippines and from Alaska to Puerto Rico. The University of the Philippines chapter was founded in 1933. The chapter members included five past UP presidents, Gonzalez, Palma, Cinco, Season and Tan, and eight highly distinguished personalities in the field of education, chemistry, medicine, philosophy, law, engineering, and veterinary medicine. Indeed, the Phi Kappa Phi has vast intellectual reserves, which the country has stopped over the years. Its members have distinguished themselves in various fields of endeavor and have contributed their knowledge and ideas to all spheres of public life. Thank you very much, Professor Laurel. Professor Fructuoso Sabu Jr., Chapter Vice President, will now explain the Phi Kappa Phi symbol. Good afternoon. May I ask the inductees to look at the banner of the Honor Society? Uh, here, in front of me. Uh, the badge of the society is a globe against the background of the sun, whose rays form an expansive corona and radiate in a number of symmetrical and equal concentrations from behind the globe. These signify equivalence among the various branches of learning and represent dissemination of truth as light. Encircling the globe is a band containing the Greek letters Phi Kappa Phi. It symbolizes the fraternal bond which girds the earth and binds the lovers of wisdom in a common purpose. The seal of the society performs the badge in its center. Uh, the badge is surrounded by a crenellated line that represents the battlements on the walls of Troy. In the space between this line and the periphery of the seal appear three stars, just above the badge, one for each of the three original chapters. Below that is the badge, is the phrase founded 1897. The ribbon of the society is a meander pattern that is common in ancient Greek art and symbolizes the classical features of the society. The first word of the Phi Kappa Phi motto is philosophia, with Phi as in Phi, not in file. For historical reasons, 
society translates this Greek word as the love of learning. The second word is krateito. Krateito is a verb meaning to rule. In our motto, the word has the form of a strong exhortation that calls on us to let the love of learning rule. The last word of the motto is photon. This word occurs in ancient Greek poetry and drama with the meaning of mortals in contrast to the immortal gods. In our motto, it refers to all humans, men and women, so we translate it into the word humanity. Thus, in saying the Ficapisi motto, Philosophia Cateto Photon, you are calling on yourself and others to have your lives rolled by the love of learning. Thank you. The chapter secretary, Dr. Marie Milagros C. Laurel, will now present the individuals who have qualified for induction to the On Society of uh, Phi Kappa Phi. We shall call on the candidates by group. For the junior level, we have seven inductees. For the baccalaureate level, we have 112 inductees. We have 31 for the graduate level. We have three for the faculty and one for the alumni level. Our inductees come from the various campuses of the University of the Philippines. The junior inductees are Maria Francesca Ibanez Gonzalez, Luis Antonio Cruz Ibanez, Jerome Christian Choa Nang, Miranda Bernadette Abakin Panagiton, Francesca Nice Young Fia Soiko, Sofia Teresa Samson Torres, Francesca Luis Cosé Villanueva. The baccalaureate level inductees from UT Diliman are Kizaya Yvette O. Acharon, Andrea Patricia C. Adre, Olivia Francesca D. Agua, Justin Aleta S. Aguilar, Mosha Mirel H. Albaratin, Giselle Lindsay V. Aquino, Joel Francis M. Atienza, Chloe D. Borromeo, Joseph Lawrence D. Cavinta, Jessica Regina D. Cadiz, Stephanie Joy D. Carras, Ruth Magdalene D. Castro, Juan Rafael S. Contreras, James Alexis E. Credo, Jan Gabriel S. Cruz, Moira Luisa F. Cruz, Aaron Jeroham T. De Guzman, Catherine Bernardez V. De Luna, Myra Beatriz S. De Luna, Julia Nicole G. Del Rosario, Juan Antonio M. De Lenia, Joan Marie M. De Mayuga, Justin Loy T. Domingo, Shauna Jolene U. Espiritu, Dominique C. Fargas Jr. Denise Victoria G. Figueroa Isabel Beatriz D. Guinez Paolo Emanuel R. Gilipo Mary Chris Yen P. Go R.J. Ivan R. Gorospes Vincent D. Gregorio, 
Clarence R. Guanton, Rafael D. Timor, Ian Paulo C. Jorge, Catherine Denise T. Colin, Kevin L. Labrador, Erica G. Lau, Agustin Dominique E. Laplana, Aliza J. Segundina L. Lara, Lorenzo Darrell R. Lasaleta, Denise Fay G. Lenzoco, Leigh Gabriel D. Lin, Micaela Patria Lustre, Jose Nazareno Gabriel M. Makalintal, Jasmine K. L. Manalang, Maria Carla P. Mapalo, James Queen D. Maranan, Katrina Maria C. Marcelo, Isabella Guada Perry L. Martinez, Gabriel Ann S. Mendoza, Jan Camille M. Mendoza, Dominique Emmanuel D. Menguito, Margot Elijah P. Neri, Jet Ryan T. Nicolas, Isabella Cassandra F. Ong, May Portia V. Orbon, Robin Dominique H. Ortiz, Rihanna Angelita R. Parr, Nicole Ann K. Pareño, Maria Isabella Valerie D. Po, Patricia Gail S. Profeta, Mary Carlette G. Prudente, Joel Carla C. Quesada, Bianca Isabella B. Ramos, Judith Daniel P. Remulia, Beatrice Hope G. Reyes, Matthew Jeffrey G. Roque, Cara Janina F. D. Rosas, Katrina Margarita H. Saavedra, Maria Francesca Angeli S. Saite, Sandra R. Sese, Maria Isabel C. Santa Ana, Daniel Y. Santa Rosa, Pauline Joy S. Soon, Candice Francesca B. Tambawan, Frances Raquel C. Tordesillas, Mary Ann Patricia P. Uno, Don Albert Z. Uy, John Daniel C. Valera, and Antonio Luis R. Ventura. The graduate level inductees from UP Diliman are Spencer Murillo Albos, Lisa Aleria Cabrera, Timothy James Lozano Cipriano, Lea Rojo Gracilia, John Michael Miranda Hernandez, Ariana Fernando Kunting, Michael Angelo Cabral Nictao, Darwin Brian Rustia Pagayonan, Raymond Hernandez Parcon, Irene Bell Rosquillo Platenia, Karen Develos Takdalan, Mary Julian Camille Peñaflor Sapuay, Philip Israel Gorospe Soriano, Teresa Marga Babaran Taganas, and Camille Victoria Santos Trinidad. May we now call on Professor Carlito Amalia to present the inductees from UP Manila 
UP Los Banos, and a few from UP Visayas, and one from UP Baguio. UP Baguio Baccalaureate inductee, Francis Ruel G. Castillo. UP Los Banos Baccalaureate inductees are Sophia Helene S. Abayo. Marie Bernadette C. Apayo and Gil C. Valmadrid Ariel Angelo E. Carlo Jen Patrick P. Dai Patrick Plenos D. De Los Reyes Lisa Stephanie F. Izon Yonsen Jo, Katrina Nicole M. Lumagi, Gia Mare M. Mortel, Adrian Daniel L. Santano, Ted Dominic M. Ramos, Nelesa Raulin M. Remorca, Marlo Angelo M. Tito, Renette B. Varga, Emil Roy P. Villanueva, UP Manila Baccalaureate and Actis R. Luis Emmanuel E. Abisami, Ivy Amor C. Adencula. Juliana Isabel G. Aleta, Karen D. Amora, Jarby Robert S. De Guzman, Ederil Pearl E. Dumo, Margarita Isabel C. Fernandez. Jen Marie P. Golden, Marie Danielle E. Ignacio, Jericho Marie C. Manlapit, Anna Patricia F. Martinez, Kim Denzel C. Salvador, Christine Joy L. Tan, Joyce Gillian E. Tiangli, Jessa Lourdes E. Yorobe, UP Mindanao, Indakti, Janessa Miriam G. Lajiman, UP Los Banos graduate Indaktis are Mark Joseph Hagmis Buncas, Denise Kerbasio Katabaka, Sherlyn Lasaga Yosala, Christine Manzanero Gatdula, Jess Hornias Humawan, Michelle Castillo Tiembo, Fatima. Alude Rodriguez, Joy Eloisa Mendoza Rosales, Juan Inon Sadural. UP Manila graduate inductees are Isa R. Blanco, Rex Bernard S. Coliado, Patrick A. Hoyos, Jan Nico F. De Leon, Elia Loren D. Obra, Ryan U. Sampang, UP Mindanao graduate, that is Nima Freya D. Cabretas. 
We will now call on Professor Fructuoso Sabung Jr. to present this year's faculty and alumni nominees. This year, we have three faculty inductees and one alumni inductee. Let's start with the faculty inductees. Uh, the first this is alphabetical. The first in my list is uh, uh, Professor Dr. Clement Camposano. Uh, he is currently the Chancellor of UP Visayas. He started this term only last this month, last Monday, actually. Uh, so, Dr. Camposano earned his PhD in Philippine Studies, Anthropology, from the Thai College Program of the University of the Philippines, Diliman, in 2009. He holds an, an MA in Political Science from UP Diliman, 1992, and a BA Political Science and History, double major, at, from UP Visayas, 1986. His current research, research interest is, the, is in anthropology of contemporary migra migration, anthropology of education, Philippine history and culture, as well as citizenship and civic education. He has published a number of articles in scholarly and peer-reviewed journals, and has cons consistently presented papers in both local and international conferences. Dr. Capusano, or Clem, is the current president of the Philippine Studies Association, PSA, and served in the board of the Anthropological Association of the Philippines, of Nayang Pagagamtao Ugat, until 2016. As a practicing ethnographer, he actively works with the Philippine Social Science Council in providing training in qualitative research methods to the acad academic staff of various educational institutions. He also sits in the Educational Advisory Board of Filipinas Journal of Philippine Studies Association. Dr. Capasano has had a long academic career serving various institutions in different capacities. To introduce the next uh, inductee, Dr. Jocelyn Dison uh, from UP Los Banos. He's a professor in UP Los Banos. He has a doctor in philosophy in, communi in uh, community development and social forestry and environmental, sci environmental sciences from UPLB, UP Los Banos, Laguna, 1997, as a Sierra scholar and a Picard thesis grantee. There's a master of science in social forestry and environmental, environmental science from UPLB. Uh, is a Ford Foundation thesis grantee, and a Master of Agriculture, Agronomy, Ecology, is also from UPLB, as well as a BS Agriculture in Agronomy and, Social, and Soil Science from UPLB. Her area of specialization are community development, social forestry, social and institutional, institutional impact assessment, project monitoring, and evaluation. She's a member of various professional societies, notably uh, she's a member of the Siarca Fellow Association of the Philippines, a Picard Scholars Association of the Incorporated, a regular member of the National Research Council of the Philippines, and a member of the International Association for the Study of Commons, among others. She also served as officer of the, or president in fact, of the Regional Association of Siarca Alumni Association. And, uh, as well as president of the Philippine Association of, Association of Agricultural Educators and a board member of the Asia Pacific Islands Rural Advisory Services Association from 2017 up to the present. The next uh, inductee we have is uh, uh, among alumni, the Dean Josefina, uh, Dean Hamihan Remolete, sorry. Uh, professor Amihan Rebolete is the professor of theater arts or theater at the Department of uh, Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts, and currently the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters of UP Diliman. She has published in the Asia, uh, the Asian theater, uh, theater Journal, Humanities Diliman, Philippine Humanities Review, and Diliman Review. There's a PhD in Philippine Psychology from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He's also the company manager and president director of Teatrong Bulat in Pilipinas. 
The university, so the office of the president, has conferred the title university artist upon her for her valuable contribution in community and children's theater. Manipasa Romilete is also one of the recipients of the prestigious uh, the Assigning Women in Nation Service Towns Award in 2013. So those are the three uh, faculty nominees uh, this year. And then we have uh, an alumni uh, nominee, uh, Dr. Joel Magus Navarro. Dr. Navarro is a conductor, educator, Performing, performer, leader, administrator with a track record in education and performance, performance marked by high achievement, quality teaching and uh, mentoring. He was instrumental in designing curricula for doctors and master's programs in conducting. He assisted in the preparation of reports for the National Association for Schools of Music in the USA uh, reviews. He obtained his degree in Doctor of Music Arts and cultural, cultural, uh, arts and cultural, oral conducting from Michigan State University in 2005. In fact, that was the time with a 4.0 GPA. That was the time when he was invited for the first time to Phi Kappa Phi, Kappa Phi uh, with a dissertation of a stylistic study on selected works of Ramon Paglayan Santos, also Philippine national artist. As a Master of Music in Color Conducting for the University of the Philippines in 1993, a Bachelor of Music in Color Conducting also from the University of the Philippines in 1985, and a post baccalaureate degrees in Mathematics from Ateneo de Manila University, and a Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics from the University of St. Lasalle, Philippines, as well as uh, he was also a graduate of the Philippine Science High School in 1971. So, uh, I guess that's it for our alumni inductee. So let us welcome the three the faculty inductees and alumni inductees this year to the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi, Chapter 045, University of the Philippines. Thank you very much. Madam President, these individuals presented were elected in accordance with the conditions specified by our chapter's bylaws, and they have accepted the chapter's invitation to membership in the society. I therefore present them as candidates for induction. Thank you, Dr. Laurel. Welcome to all our new inductees. Will you all Please repeat after me the society's affirmation of membership. In response to the honor bestowed on me by my election to Phi Kappa Phi, I shall continue to uphold the motto of Phi Kappa Phi, let the love of learning rule humanity. By virtue of your superior scholarship, supported by sound characters, by virtue of what you've achieved in academia and beyond, and who you are, a combination of qualities that led to your election by this chapter of the society, it is now my privilege to declare you to be members in good standing of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. May you continue to merit this high honor, never complacent, ever seeking the realization of the society's motto, let the love of learning rule humanity. I congratulate, I congratulate you all and wish you all well. May I just plug in a very important event that the Phi Kappa Phi is undertaking this month up to December 14. So from November 14, so December 14, uh, we have the young artists from the university uh, led by five Honor Society members and really specially led by our arts coordinator, our officer, Professor Carlito Amalia, entitled Time, Space, 
uh, you may learn about it from artsteps.com uh, where details about this exhibit for a cause actually to help um, our scholars beset with COVID problems and especially those who are in financial need. So let us support this event uh, spearheaded by our very own Carlito Amalia. Thank you. Before our special guest gives our inductees a pabaon of inspirational views, Dr. Fidel Nemenzo, our UT Diliman Chancellor, will introduce our keynote speaker. It is my honor to introduce our distinguished guest speaker, Dr. Jose Maria Balmaceda. Only a few know the university more intimately than Dr. Balmaceda, who has risen up the ranks from mathematics instructor in 1981 to his current rank of professor at the UP Institute of Mathematics. A member of the Phi Kappa Phi since he graduated as a mathematics major at the top of his class almost 40 years ago, Dr. Balmaceda obtained his PhD from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and specializes in the areas of finite group theory, representation theory, and algebraic combinatorics. Dr. Balmaceda has served UP at different administrative posts as the first director of the UP Institute of Mathematics, as assistant vice president for academic affairs of the UP system, and as Dean of the College of Science. He has won many awards for his research and teaching, among them the 2001 NRCP Achievement Award for Mathematics, the 1996 National Academy of Science and Technology Third World Academy of Science Prize, the National Academy of Science and Technology Outstanding Publication Award in 1996, the National Academy of Science and Technology Outstanding Young Scientist Award in 1995, and three UP Gawad Chancellor Awards for teaching and research. In 2008, Dr. Balmaceda was elected academician of the National Academy of Science and Technology. Dr. Balmaceda is not only a research mathematician and mentor to men, he is also a passionate public communicator of science and a recognized leader in the mathematical community having served as president of both the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Southeast Asian Mathematical Society, and as member of the Commission for Developing Countries of the International Mathematical Union. In many ways, Dr. Balmaceda embodies the culture of learning, excellence, and service that Phi Kappa Phi wishes to nurture among its members. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Jose Maria Balmaceda. Thank you, Dr. Nemenzo, our beloved UP Diliman Chancellor. UP Chapter President, Dr. Adelaida Lucero, officials of the University of the Philippines, officers and representatives of the Phi Kappa Phi, UP chapter, colleagues, friends, and this year's batch of inductees, ladies and gentlemen, a good day to all of you. It is an honor to be part of this annual program, a happy occasion amid this difficult and uncertain period. To all who are here, I hope you and your loved ones are well and safe. To the officials of Phi Kappa Phi, thank you for the privilege to address this year's inductees. To the new members, congratulations and welcome to this venerable society. Even in this virtual mode, this opportunity to speak to you is special. Today is not only a celebration of excellence and achievement, but also an occasion for hope. I'm optimistic that with talented and motivated individuals like you, there is great promise for a better future. Hopefully too, the crisis of the pandemic has made all of us better persons 
who are more mindful of ourselves and our surroundings, who value emotional connectedness, appreciate simple joys, and are grateful for blessings and acts of kindness, big and small. We do recognize that though, that no matter how responsibly we live our lives, anyone at any time may face sudden illness or death, job loss, or a home swept away in a terrible typhoon. This reality is not cause for despair, but reason to keep strong and to show empathy and compassion. Membership in Phi Kappa Phi is not an award, but an invitation. It starts with an invitation, and by responding to this invitation, you commit yourselves to the society's principles, a mirror of UP's own ideals of honor and excellence. I have had scant involvement with Phi Kappa Phi since my own induc induction in 1981. But its motto, that the love of learning rule humanity, has been a resonating guidepost in my life. So what are these principles that Phi Kappa Phi espouses? Let me offer them as recommendations. First, continue committing yourself, yourselves to excellence. Your education did not train you to master a craft but to see a craft in relation to a totality, society, and the larger public. Use your education and training not only to excel in your chosen careers, but also to help find solutions to the larger and persistent problems of society. After graduation, there are no more Latin honors to pursue and grade point averages to chase or maintain but there is a world larger than your own waiting for you. I encourage you to pursue higher studies and urge you to embark on careers that will utilize your scientific, humanistic, and liberal education. I hope that you will always be curious, open-minded, self-critical, sensitive to others, respectful of others' opinions, and all the time humble. The pandemic may have taken many things away from us, but it will never prevent us from being free to express our opinions and make choices. Being true to UP education and to Phi Kappa Phi does not require that we agree on every contour of life, but that every argument or opinion should be well informed and shaped by critical judgment. Regrettably, we have seen how many including our leaders and officials, reject fact and evidence, confuse debate with a howling match, and favor insult and name calling to reason. Next, commit yourself to character and integrity. Albert Einstein remarked that it is character and not intellect that is the mark of a great scientist. Sadly, we have seen basic values underlying our society and institutions eroded by political creatures whose lives are governed by the baser instincts of greed and self-adulation. Shamelessness, wrote Salman Rushdie, has become so ordinary, like furniture. We no longer notice it, he said. Finally, commit yourself to service. I am convinced that success is not what you get out of life, but what you put into it. A life of service is a life with meaning and value. And some of the best things happen when we get outside our own lives and begin to engage in those of others. So, one more thing. Always keep your sense of humor. Take your work seriously but don't take yourselves too seriously. Learn to laugh and to laugh at yourself. Our nation and the world may be facing great problems, but if you build your lives on a foundation committed to the principles of excellence, character, and service, you have less to fear. Congratulations once again, new members of Phi Kappa Phi. 
we trust that you will use your education to contribute positively to society and to help make our country and the world a safer, peaceful, just, and happier place for everyone. Cherish this occasion and search forth brimming with confidence and never thank, fail to thank the Almighty for all your blessings. Maboy kayong lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you very much, Dr. Balmaceda, for that very inspiring message to our new members. May I now call on the President and Secretary of our chapter to hand over the certificate and token of appreciation to our guest speaker. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Dr. Jose Maria P. Balmaceda for inspiring the members of Chapter 045, University of the Philippines, of the Honor Society of Pi Kappa Phi to pursue excellence in their chosen fields of endeavors. Given this 22nd day of November, 2020, at the UP College of Science Auditorium, UP Diliman, Quezon City. Signed, Adelaida F. Lucero, PhD, Chapter President. Maria Milagro C. Laurel, PhD, Chapter Secretary. <laughs> The UP Sherwin and Seraphim, the official children's choir from the University of the Philippines, will now present for good under the baton of the choir director and PKP member, Dr. Elena Mirano.
Thank you very much, UP Sheldon and Seraphine and Dr. Elena Mirano for that wonderful song. May we hear some last words for the inductees from the chapter president? As inductees, you receive a certificate of membership from the Phi Kappa Phi National Headquarters, which has been sent to you, together with a Phi Kappa Phi pin, a Phi Kappa Phi emblem, inside the Phi Kappa Phi membership packet. Moreover, during this year, and as long as you remain an active member, you will be eligible for a variety of member benefits, ranging from career-focused web-based seminars to strategic partnerships with highly respected corporations and various competitive fellowships and scholarships, to name but a few. A complete listing of member benefits may be found at the headquarters website, phicapafi.org. Let me remind you that once inducted into society, the society, each of you will always be a member of Phi Kappa Phi. To be classified as an active member, however, and to continue to receive many benefits, you may want to pay national dues annually. You will be classified as an inactive member if you do not pay those dues. You are urged, of course, to maintain active membership not only as a means of personal fulfillment, but also a way of helping to sustain the prestige and to support the activities of your honor society. We also sincerely hope that you will maintain a connection with the University of the Philippines Chapter 045 of Phi Kappa Phi. Okay. As the afternoon program comes to an end, let us all stand for the UP Nami Mahal in an instrumental version with the flute, uh, Mr. Raymond Serial, a five-time Namsha Awardee, and our very own arts coordinator uh, playing on the violin, uh, Professor Carlito Amalia. <laughs> for making this first virtual induction of Phi Kappa Phi a memorable one.